I feel like uh, showing my video today. I'm just kind of uh, bumming around here on Friday morning. So, you know, I'm getting kind of used to just seeing uh, little uh, icons, images pop up here. So you should be able to do it here for our morning announcements. Uh, it is another great day to be a Lion at Howard High School. We're filling our days with pride because we are Howard Strong, staying strong, students, seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, everyone's staying strong. And of course, we're better together, even though we are socially distancing, we are, of course, together connected through online technology our meets our classes and any other tool that we have that we can make sure that we are keeping our community strong got my little icon there uh, yesterday i was able to uh, post a sign up there at the board of education shouting out our uh, seniors there from the class of 2020 want to make sure that we can celebrate you, you know it's uh, difficult times right now but we want to make sure we can do that in any way possible and today I'm able to share some uh, superlatives for the dance team here. So our, our dance company uh, folks here, uh, our senior dancers, you guys would have had your uh, concert today. Uh, Ms. Cressera, Ms. Uh, DiPietro wanted me to be able to share with you some of their accolades, some of their uh, fun little awards here. So stay tuned here. I'm going to read off a few of the names there. So who... Among our dancers, had the biggest case of senioritis. Well, congratulations, Dominique Boyd. Dominique Boyd, our biggest case of senioritis. The strongest, the best dancer partner award goes to Corinne Carter. Congratulations, Corinne, strongest dance partner there. The best team player, always keeping her groups on task award, goes to Anaya Davis. Congratulations, Anaya. Thanks for keeping your groups on point. The most determined dancer goes to Jasmine Davis. Congratulations, Jasmine. Awesome award there. The biggest sweet tooth, but also the best smile award goes to Aubrey Glasgow. All right, Aubrey. Fantastic. Most likely to brighten your day. That dancer is Julia Hagen. Congratulations, Julia. Most likely to brighten your day. Most likely to be famous one day. That award goes to Bridget Hayes. Congratulations, Bridget. Our most expressive dancer award goes to Danae Hill. Congratulations, Danae. The most improved dancer award goes to Veronica Jennings. All right, great job, Veronica. Lots of improvement there. The best dressed dancer award goes to Madison Kimmel. Congratulations, Madison. Our most forgetful dancer award goes to Ann Coffey. Congratulations, Ann. Our most self-confident. Dancer goes to Lyric Lax. All right, Lyric, congratulations. Most self-confident. Our most talkative dancer award goes to Alyssa Lynn. Congratulations, Alyssa. Our most likely to tell it like it is award goes to Amaya McNear. Amaya, telling it like it is. Keeping it real. Our most likely to light up the stage award goes to Joshua Miller Chestnut. Congratulations, Josh. The most put together and composed dancer award goes to Leah Minerve. Congratulations, Leah. The most improved choreographer is Brooke Morgan. All right, Brooke, great job with the choreography. Biggest sweetheart and most dedicated dancer award goes to Catherine Norris. Congratulations, Catherine. The risk taker award goes to Yana Overberg. Congratulations. I'm being a risk taker. Most genuine, Sydney Parham. Great job, Sydney. Most unselfish and considerate, Alexandra Parker. Alexandra Parker, congratulations on being most unselfish and considerate. The most shy but not while dancing award goes to Didier Pena Cruz. Congratulations, Didier. Most humble and likely to say I can't, but she really can award goes to Madison Pruitt. Great job, Madison. Our most likely to need a hair tie in dance class award goes to Danielle Puel. Congratulations, Danielle. The Little Miss D award goes to Maya Rollins. Great job, Maya. Going to be following in Miss D's footsteps there. Best leaps in flexibility is Kirsten Smith. Congratulations, Kirsten. The hardest worker for dance is Alexandra Snyder. Congratulations, Alexandra. Most mature and honest is John Marie Stewart. Congratulations, John Marie. Our best movement quality goes to Mia Taylor. Congratulations, Mia, on your award. Most likely to come to school just for dance class award goes to Nyla Villafane. Congratulations, Nyla. Our most tenacious dancer is Courtney Wells. Congratulations, Courtney. And the Miss Independent Award goes to Emily Wine. Congratulations to all of our senior dancers there. 
We miss seeing you dancing. We would have loved to have seen that uh, uh, senior performance there and all of the uh, uh, other uh, dancers for our uh, um, dance program there. We definitely miss seeing your artistry, but we celebrate all of the things that you have done this year and over the last four years. So hopefully we have a few other uh, announcements and some uh, programming for you to enjoy. Stay connected, stay safe, have a great weekend, and we begin a week three of instruction next week. Take care. We're so proud of our senior dancers. Look for more senior celebrations coming. Good afternoon, Howard. I'm Isabella, and I'm glad to join you all again. I hope this is bringing you each a little bit of Howard community that we all love and miss very much. We've got a great show for you today, but first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to another at-home production of Howard 360. Up next, we've got a little message from the Vape Ninja. Take a look. Don't vape or else. Thanks, Vape Ninja. Come on, guys. I know you heard it. Quit vaping. It's so bad for you. You know what I've been craving recently? Coffee. Let's take a look at some tips and tricks Camille and Isla have for some at-home coffee creations. Hey, Howard. Camille and I definitely miss our Starbucks and Dunkin' Runs, and you probably do too. So here are a couple coffee recipes you can use to make yours at home. We hope you enjoy. Okay, Howard. We're going to be making whipped coffee. You're going to need sugar, instant coffee. It has to be instant water, one tablespoon to measure, and milk. Okay, to mix, I use a stand mixer, but you can use like a fork, whisk, spoon. It would just take a lot longer. Thanks, Camille and Isla. I'll have to go on Amazon and get myself some instant coffee. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Tune in Monday for some more announcements. Have a fantastic Friday.